this is the console application and now we will create an XML file click on add new item XML file this one XML file so the name is books.xml so I am going to write a complete or note note uh, structure of XML document so the first node it is called the root node So the nodes are always in pairs. So this is the beginning node and this is the closing node. So first element. So record of one book and now title. So this represents one book record. So we have title and author. Okay. Now another book record. Just copy and paste it. So we have two book records. So this one is root node, and this book element, this book node is the child node of this root node. Title is a child node of this book node. Okay, and this title and author, these both are children of book node, and this title and author, these both are sibling, sibling to each other. Because they are at same level, they are at same level, so they are sibling. Okay. So we can represent our data using XML structure like this. So you can create a, any entity like product, customer, employee, okay, like this. So click on save. Now we are going to read the data from this. Uh, so click on program.cs. I'm going to use a library system.xml system.xml. So it contains the code for reading and writing the XML file. So we have one object XML document. The creating object of that XML document. And now uh, we have to load the XML file in this document. So for that, text.load. So we have to provide the path. And the path is click here copy full path so write the path here now so we have to replace this slash with another plus alternatively you can use at the rate 
okay if you use at the rate that we don't have to replace each and every cells okay now we have to we have to read the data from this excel file so we have load the whole document whole document in this xdoc excel document so we have to read the or you can say we have to display the data from this so for that we are going to read this book node okay so we have to specify the path of this book node so xml node list equal to x dot dot select nodes and we have to pass the path so the path will be books books and then book so it will return it will return this this node and this node so the complete node structure so these two nodes will be return from this method and this expression is known as x path so x path is used to traverse through the xml document and we have to uh, provide the path for querying the xml document like this now so we have to apply for each loop for each xml node in nodes so nodes contain the list of book elements so now we have to read the other elements okay. so these two nodes these two nodes we these two nodes we get this one and this one so after getting this whole node now we have to again get this title and author so for that you can find uh, you can find author like this or title and author these the both nodes we are going to read so xml node like author equal to node dot select single node so now we have to select this title and author so we have our record up to uh, path over here so we have to provide the relative path title and author author now we will check if node is not null If node is not null, then we will read its data. Console dot write line author dot inner text. So inner text property will provide you the exact required data. Okay. So similarly, we will do for 
साइकिल साइकिल वी आर गोइंग टू रीड टाइटल नोट टाइटल नोट इज नॉट नल एन वी हैव टू रीड इट Now we will run this. So here is the output. So for the first book. So for the first book, author is David, and title is ESP .NET Course. Second book, author is Mark, and title is Azure Course. So using Excel document, so using Excel document, we can read the data from Excel document. 